for keeping it courteous. Remember, this is the economy trend pointer where we are speaking about the IEBC budgeting and funding part two. Right. Okay, gentlemen, we and according to the budget, we have seen some women's tuition rooms which have been allocated to some number of millions. We've seen improved colored ballot papers, among other extraordinary things that have been covered in the budget. Mm. Is the, are these things justifiable for the 15 billion shillings that have been added from the previous budget? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Michael. I think, yes, we need to be improving on our catches as we go along. Mm -hmm. That is a fact. Mm -hmm. And um, if, for example, what we have, the improved um, women, or I don't know, yeah, where, for the women rooms. station rooms, mm -hmm. that is one improvement, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, but the point is, if the cost does not really justify or it makes us to go and borrow the money, mm -hmm. so as to come and do the same, or actually to have the rooms, mm -hmm. then we need to check on ourselves. Because um, as you do the budget, you, 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 you are working on what you have, but as you are topping it up, so that um, I'm seeing it is a 15 billion increment, that might not be one of the, what it, the Contributors is one of them, but we might not say that is for the all. That is a 15 billion. But what you are saying is, if a budget is increasing, and we are bringing in things which I don't know how it will improve on the on the on the on the elections or the, the voting, whatever time I don't know, because uh, if it is actually talking of the women who are actually I know even these institutions where you go and you find women who are actually expectant and uh, they are actually given priority yeah. in whatever they do. You go to the banks, you find them give, given the priority as soon as she comes in. Mm -hmm. she sees, as soon as she fills that document, she goes straight to the to be served. So mm -hmm. likewise to the election time, mm -hmm. we should have given priority. In this normal sense, any man knows that he's supposed to be given priority. Mm -hmm. So creating a room with a cost and other things to make it 15 billion to me is not really much of a justifiable cost. Thank you. The situation room for the uh, for women, I think, to me, it's a it's a good thing. If indeed it is implemented, uh, where I come from, the voting station that I went and I moved into a few of them. I never saw a situation room for women, mm. and therefore, uh, and, and this budget, you find that it takes a sizable number of millions of shillings mm. under situation room for women. Mm. Yes, situation room for women is good if a, a lady has got a kid and maybe this kid needs to be fed and so on and so forth. Mm. But are they actually there? Mm. This is the point that we need to say. And are they going to cost those millions of shillings? Mm -hmm. Because it is when you are voting in a, in, a, in a primary school, for example, or a secondary school, mm -hmm. they will just take one uh, room well, th th that they don't pay, even rent, sure. and put there. Uh, they make it to be a place where ladies can go and rest and feed their children. Mm -hmm. They don't need to put a price tag on that. Mm -hmm. And therefore, that's why I'm saying it is a noble thing, but it doesn't carry that millions of shillings mm -hmm. uh, to be uh, justifiable. It is not. Now, when it comes to papers that we are going to uh, use for voting, mm -hmm. I'm told they are talking about colored papers. The improved colored, the improved colored papers. Mm -hmm. What are they improving on? Mm -hmm. After all, when we did the last uh, election, there was no problem as far as uh, identifying uh, the symbols and uh, the voting. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering when they bring these colored papers, mm -hmm. what are they talking about? What are they improving on? Mm -hmm. If they had maybe brought in some machines for blind people mm -hmm. to be able to vote using uh, those machines, mm -hmm. then that is justifiable. Yeah. But a person who has got his eyes is able to see what is a colored paper? And therefore, I still maintain that uh, last time there was no problem about the papers we used, which were normal papers, and therefore we should just go back to that place. Somebody says, oh, you know, we need to import these colored papers, blah, blah, blah. I think that is 
an avenue for eating. Sure. And therefore we need to stop that. And uh, gentlemen, what's your view on the exit of the commissioners coming October 17th, 2017? What's your view on that? The exit of the commissioners in October 2017. One, if the election is to be done in, October, in August, as well, uh, what has been said, or what is in the constitution. Now, the three months, if indeed it's sufficient for them to, okay, we'll get the results and all that, mm -hmm. but the eventualities are always there and people must take care of that. One, if, for example, they be for the president or whatever, you have 50-50 assumption. Mm -hmm. I'm going for the worst. Mm -hmm. Now we don't have the president. We are simply saying they that they are mm -hmm. Who will perform that? Mm -hmm. And uh, you find that that is in October. So even if they are the ones to start, maybe in September immediately, they will not be able to complete. Mm -hmm. So there will be a shortcoming that effect of actually having the commission as existing in October 2017. Number two, in, in the event that um, you, you, are, you are leaving the office without somebody running, you know, you are like running, I, I, I could call it um, leaving the vacuum of the commissioners. Mm -hmm. it, it puts the step in a very awkward situation and more so when they started up. Mm -hmm. Dr. can add something on that. I think the commissioners are very important to be there and we don't want to take it for granted that everything the first run we shall have the president we must have all options we have to think through all options what if there is rerun what will happen so for my suggestion on that issue is that uh, the commissioners should be given an extension should be given an extension maybe of six months or three months to make sure that they have finished uh, their work uh, depending because we don't want to wait until the last minute mm -hmm. for example if we wait until next year then we start looking for commissioners it will be too late the constitution says that after five years they are supposed to go the commissioners mm -hmm. now but we can as well look at our constitution and see how best we can amend so that we can accommodate them and be able to be remain in the commission legal. Otherwise, it, it might be a very big crisis. And when we, of course, when we do that, we need to know it is an extra cost. So when we are uh, planning for our election, the funding, there must be that extra money to pay the commissioners for that extra six months or so. They should not wait until last minute. Then they say we are extending, but where is the money? We did not put this in the budget, and so on. And then there was also an issue of whether or not the August election should be sent to December. That issue also uh, captures commissioners. If they are taken in December, then that means that, uh, of course, the extension is that one is automatic. Mm -hmm. Now, what if the other issue that I'm looking at it, if it doesn't, there may be a crisis because of the budget problem. Mm -hmm. Because I'm being told that uh, the budget must be in place, MPs are supposed to vote for the budget in June. And yet, according to our constitution, it is supposed to be dissolved by March, the parliament. So there is a stalemate there. And for me, my opinion is, I think this election should be pushed to December so that one, we look at the extension of the commissioners, two, we look at the uh, budget process uh, so that we can get money uh, uh, for elections. Mm -hmm. So that is how I feel that that, that that should happen. Okay, gentlemen, we've actually been looking at everything to do with the extravagancy and everything to do with the 45 billion from 30 billion then what's this solution that you can suggest for these people like if they have to move from 45 billion what is this that you can suggest they should do in order to reduce this this amount from 45 billion back three things 
one, we audit ourselves and get to know that what was not necessary in the previous election, 2013, we remove. Mm -hmm. And be very careful and move titiously in the sense that uh, we, we don't need to move fast in adding more items which are not necessary in the cost. Mm -hmm. Two, we need also to look, because we after purchasing the BBRs, I think that was taking a much of a huge cost. And consequently, that we, we should be able to say that uh, since we have the BBRs, the cost should come down. Logically, if after buying an asset, which is a fixed, I call it a fixed asset for now, after buying those patches, it should now be cheaper. So we should be able to say that the cost should come down. And if it is not going to come down, then there are some items which need to be removed, which are not necessary, not essential. And uh, finally, we simply say reduce the unnecessary expenditure in the elections. Let us just have the right things required and buy the right things required. Thank you. Yeah, the way forward, I'll, uh, I'll add what my colleague has just said. Let us look at that budget with tooth comb. We need to comb that budget and remove unnecessary spending. Like once, I can be able to say that this thing called mortgage for staff members should go. Staff members can use their salaries, go to the banks and get money to buy houses if they have or vehicles. That will have saved IBC some money. Then we look at uh, so much money that's going into tea, around 10 million or something like that. That needs also to be reduced. And then you look at millions of shillings for situation rooms for women. Many of areas that we do uh, voting as, as polling stations, they are secondary school or primary schools, public primary schools or secondary schools. We, we, we barely pay nothing for those rooms. Get one room, just organize. You may use only 5,000 to organize a place where these women will be able to sit down and feed their babies if they have gone to vote. And therefore, if we do that, we, and then unnecessary procurement, if we are not going to have BB, uh, BBRs, where, why is our budget going to be too big. We need to look at it carefully and avoid unnecessary uh, spending. Thank you. Thank you very much for keeping it KTS and thank you gentlemen for being part of the Economy Trend Pointer. I've been your host, Immaculate Burunji. Until next time, God bless you.